What is going on guys? Welcome to your 34th Intermediate Java lesson and in this video what I'm going to be doing is teaching you guys how to start building a very simple web browser. So our web browser program is going to have you know all the things that a usual web browser has. The address bar at the very top where you can type in your URL like I don't know HTTP google.com and then once you press enter it's going to go ahead and display the contents of google.com. So again this isn't going to be a really advanced web browser nothing as cool as Google Chrome or Firefox but it's gonna use a lot of important concepts for example you know reading an HTML file and displaying the contents on the screen. So I already made a new class and I imported four different things so just go ahead and copy all that right now. Now what this is going to do is it's going to inherit from the frame or excuse me inherit from the class JFrame just so we can get all our good GUI stuff make it look nice and pretty. Now remember that I said this GUI is basically going to consist of two main parts. The address bar at the top where the user can type something in and the main window that I don't know all the crap all the web page crap gets displayed. So the address bar at the top is actually going to be a J text field. So private J text field and I'll just name this address bar. Now the main display window is actually going to be a J editor pane. So private editor pane and I'll just name this display. So remember we're going to be typing in the URL such as you know the new boston.com right here and it's going to display in the main window. So the first thing that we should do is some housekeeping stuff and it's actually more than housekeeping stuff the constructor. So go ahead and make your constructor public whatever you know the name of your class was. Read file. It's not going to take any extra information. Now the first thing we should do is give our application a title. So go there call the super classes constructor and pass in you know whatever you want to name your browser. Bucky browser. I think that's a pretty cool name for a browser. So this title is going to appear at the very top of your screen or the top of your application rather. So now that we have the title taken care of, we can begin working on the address bar. The part where the user types in the URL, which website do they want to go to. So the first thing we have to do is of course create it. So address bar equals new J text field. Now whenever you create a new text field, go ahead and uh, as the parameter for this type in some default text such as enter a URL Haas and I'm going to do that. So basically the default text whenever the user first opens this application is enter a URL Haas. Now obviously they're going to have to enter a proper URL if they want this application to work but for now we'll just give them a little prompt on the screen so even though they have to delete it you know it's probably better for the user to do it this way. So now what I want to do is in this address bar, the way that they're going to, you know, pretty much submit their URL that says, okay, this is my URL, now I want to go to it, is they're going to hit enter when they're done typing the URL. So since they're pretty much hitting enter and that enter from the user is actually an event, we need to add an action listener to wait and listen for the user to press enter. So how do we wait and listen? Well, we need address holy caps lock address bar add action listener just like that so now let me go ahead and get my spacing all taken care of alright add action listener and now inside this we need an anonymous inner class new action listener now the method that gets called whenever the user presses enter is action performed. So public void action performed. Hopefully I spelled that right. Alright, looks pretty good. Action listener. Alright, so I don't know. I'm getting a bunch of weird error messages, but I think it's just because I uh didn't finish coding this method yet. So basically what we need to do is pass in, pass in an action event and we'll name this event. And that event is basically 
the hitting of the enter button. So again, like I said, whenever they hit enter on their keyboard, this method is going to be called, so therefore we probably should put some instruction in here. So what do we want to happen whenever they hit enter on their keyboard? Well, they're only going to hit enter after they entered a URL. So basically what this program is going to do is it's going to get the URL and say, okay, then I want to go to this web page read the file, the HTML file, and display it in the main window. So that's kind of a whole separate thing. So what I decided to do is I decided to make a separate method for that called load crap. Now the load crap method obviously isn't one that's already built into Java. We're going to have to make this ourselves. But what this method is going to do is it's going to go read an HTML file, for example the HTML file from the newboston.org and read it and then display it on the screen. So again, we're going to be coding that in the upcoming tutorials. But before we do that, what we need to do is we actually need to pass it in the URL as a string. So they already typed in the URL in this address bar. So how do we get the URL from that address bar? Well, well, let me just go ahead and type it, then I'll show you guys. Get, because this uh, method is one of the ones that are not named very good in Java. So get action command, if I hover over it, maybe you'll see. Okay, it says, return the command string associated with this action. And I put my semicolon in the wrong place. So what this means is, remember, whenever you hit enter, an event is generated, and this get action command, which is not properly named, is basically gonna take the string that's inside the address bar and it's gonna go ahead and pass it into this load crap method. So this get action command should more be more properly be named get string from JTEXT field, but that's basically what it does. Whatever URL that you typed in is gonna treat it as a string and pass it into this load crap method, which eventually what we're gonna be doing is building this method to pretty much go to a file and display it on the screen. So simple enough. So well, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, what we're going to be doing is working on the display, and then we're going to be working on the load crap method. So once everything ties together, you guys are going to be able to see what's going on. But for now, just stick with me, and I promise you guys, like I usually do, everything will make sense soon. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.